hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so from onward this video tutorial we will start working on angular we will make tutorials on angular so as you can see right here the stable version for the angular is 8.2.4 so we will use angular 8 in these tutorials so the first thing we will do is to download and install node.js so open up your browser and search for node.js and click this first link and it will open the node.js.org and download the 10.16.3 uh, version do not download the latest version because uh, that version has some errors and bugs so we will download this because uh, as you can see right here it says that recommended for most users so we will download this version I will save it on my desktop click save and now as you can see it is downloading okay guys so as you can see right here node.js is now downloaded and now let's install this uh, node.js so for that we will run the setup and uh, click next I accept click next and uh, install this in the C drive program files okay click next and again next and then click install yes okay so now this will install node.js and also the npm in our computer so both of these things will be installed in our computer once this setup is done okay so as you can see right here the node.js is now completely installed click finish and now we will open the command prompt to check the node and the npm version so to check the uh, node version we will type node hyphen v for version okay so as you can see right here the node version is 10.16.3 and now to check the npm version we will type npm hyphen v and okay the npm version is 6.9.0 and also this means that node and npm is successfully installed in our computer so now our next step is to install the angular cli so to install the angular cli uh, we will open our browser and search for angular cli and open up this first link so for those who are unaware of what angular cli is it is basically a command line interface for angular it allows you to generate building blocks of your angular application by just typing these commands and this also make our development uh, quicker and easier okay so now to install the angular cli we need to run this command so we will just copy it and paste it in the command prompt and this command will install the angular cli globally so now as you can see right here angular cli is now installed on our computer and now we will add path to our environment variables in order to run our application and also to run our commands inside the IDE so for that we will add part to our environment variable or else it will give out a error so to add our path we will uh, search for run and uh, then we will type uh, app data click OK and inside the app data open the folder roaming and then open this uh, folder npm and copy this directory and now again search for edit the system environment variables click on it and then click this environment variables double click on this path and now we will add this path right here so as you can see right here this is uh, my old path so I will just delete that one and this is our new path click ok and now we will add uh, one more path 
effect over environment variables and their uh, path is inside this node modules then angular CLI and inside this bin folder and now we will copy this path and again open this uh, environment variables double click on this path and click new and then paste that right there click OK and now both of our paths are now added so now if we run these commands in our uh, text editor then this will work because now we added our path to our environment variables so now to create our hello world program we need to install our text editor so I am using Visual Studio Code so search for Visual Studio Code and click this first link and download the stable version of the Visual Studio Code uh, so I have already downloaded the Visual Studio Code so now we will create our first hello world application in angular so in order to save all of our angular uh, application uh, we will create a main folder uh, we will call it angular and this will store on our desktop and now we will open up that folder this one angular so open it so here is our main folder angular and now inside this angular folder we will store all of our applications so now to create our uh, hello world uh, program we need to open up a new terminal and inside this terminal we will type a command ng new and the application name is hello world so we will type hello world and then press enter press y and now we will select the we will select this CSS okay so now this will take a minute to create our hello world application okay guys so now as you can see our hello world app is now created if you open up this folder here is all of our files and this is our main file the src or the source folder uh, to make any changes to our hello world app we will make changes inside this source folder now let's just uh, run our hello world program so for that we will type ng serve press enter okay so we have this error because we are not inside our hello world folder so we will type cd hello hyphen world and now we are inside our hello world application and now we will type ng serve and now let's just wait for it and it will run okay so the compiling is now started wait for it okay so as you can see compiled successfully and now we will search for localhost uh, 4200 to check our hello world application so we will type uh, localhost and then 4200 and as you can see hello world here is our first angular hello world application which is now live and running hello world app is running so this is our hello world application and now let's just get back to our visual studio code and if we open this uh, package.json file so this package.json file uh, contain the dependencies and the dev dependencies which are nothing but the libraries or modules that are required for our angular application and on the package.json file it also store our uh, application name and some and some and some big basic commands which is ng serve and ng build and all of that and now inside this source file folder we have this uh, file which is main.ts 
this file is the entry point to our angular application and now right here we also have a app folder and inside this app folder we have the app module.ts file and this file is the root module of our application the app.component.ts is the root component of our application and when we run our when we run this application by using the command ng serve the execution come from this main.ts file over here we kick start the the app module and in our app module.ts file you can see that we run bootstrap or kickstart the app component and this component have two parts the HTML template and the class to control and the view logic so we have the HTML component over here and the TypeScript file over here which contain the class and the class contain the logic or the data for for the view in the class we have a property title which is equals to our application name hello world so inside our uh, HTML component if we scroll down as you can see right here title app is running so we call this function on the HTML component file and this function is equals to hello world so that's why it is showing hello world app is running and we also have some other HTML elements that get rendered when we run our application in the browser as you can see right here so now we will uh, change this name to we will just type uh, successfully show so this uh, this will uh, show that hello world app is running successfully and now if we get back to the app component.ts file and now if i just change this title to coding cafe and as you can see right here coding f app is running successfully because we changed the name to coding cafe so this is the basic function functioning of our hello world angular application and now in the next video we will work on angular and we will learn some more cool stuff about angular so this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video and subscribe our channel coding cafe